Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Yep, the 2019 Tops Alliance of American Football two box random team break number one. As you can see, the next one's already in the store from jazbeescasebreaks.com. But this is random team one. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting into it. And there are your AAF teams right there. Right here for two box random team break number one. Let's roll the dice, let's randomize each list eight times, two and a six for the eight teams in the league right there. Two and a six, eight times. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, Jeremy Merle down to Ryan Redman. Last spot mojo in the last spot. Two and a six, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. We've got the Atlanta Legends down to the Birmingham Iron. All right, so Jeremy Merle, Atlanta Legends. Michael, you got the San Diego Fleet. Brian Foley with the Orlando Apollos. Kip Kip Hooray with the Memphis Express. Brian Foley with the San Antonio Commanders. Colton Carver, Arizona Hotshots. Derek, you've got the Salt Lake City Stallions, and Ryan with the Birmingham Iron. Let's alphabetize by team. Feel free to trade if you'd like while we figure out which two boxes we're going to do. So let's pop this case open here. All right, so here's how we're going to do it. So these two will be one, two, three on the dice. And then four, five, six. I think that'll make it pretty easy. Yahtzee. No, no Yahtzee. And it's going to be four. So one, two, three, four. So the top two boxes on this side right here. And we'll save these for next time. And run a couple of these tonight. It'll be kind of fun. See what, see what these are all about. Any trades? No, not even a whisper of a trade. So let's print. Let's rip. Let's see what we got out of here. Has anyone actually been following AAF? I think I followed the first uh, first weekend of action. <laughs> Robert says no. All right, here's the final printout right here. All right, so here's what we got out of here. So there's what the box looks like. All eight teams are right here. I think the logos are pretty cool. Three autograph trading cards per box. Highlighting the inaugural season. Well, let's see what we have. Uh, see that Charlie Ebersol right there? I think there was a note about him. Um, any Charlie Ebersol cards are randomized as one lot. So we'll re-randomize the list for those, for those Charlie Ebersols. Three autographs per box out of here. This could be interesting. If, if, the, if, the, uh, if the AAF turns into... Um, 
not like a minor league system, but more like a uh, NBA developmental league, um, NBA developmental league kind of setup. I think it'd be pretty cool. Oh, there definitely is a checklist for this, Robert. I just dropped one in the chat a few moments ago. CardboardConnection.com has it. All right, see you guys. CardboardConnection.com has it. But if this de turns into a developmental league, all it takes is, a, a, you know, a big star or two to pop out of here. You know, like a good, a good feel-good story kind of thing. And that'll show, like, its value. And it's a good time for the season, too. You know, a lot of, I mean, there could be a lot of players who could use that extra work instead of being stuck on a practice squad all season long. They're not really getting any work in. Not any meaningful game action. But maybe they can get some meaningful game action in the AAF. And that could be pretty huge. All right, good luck, everybody. I have no idea who any of these folks are, but... Oh, no, I know this guy. Zach Medenberg. Z-Meth. Remember z -Meth? Oh, man. Those are the days. So all these Charlie Ebersol cards will be in one lot. Oh, I remember, remember Zach Stacy. He was like a, a fantasy football darling for a few moments of there. Got some name coaches in here, though. And there's Kenny. There's Kenny Bell. Kenny Bell. The Salt Lake Stallions. That'll go to Derek. I'll randomize the Stallions. Yeah, Zach Stacy did have some good games. I'm rooting for Zach Stacy. There's Marquise Bundy to 99 for the. I don't even know these teams by logo. This must be. Oh, those are the hot shots. Okay, that's the Arizona hot shots. Mike Riley. Top load those before they go out right there. We'll set those aside. Trent Richardson had a big week one in the AAF. There's Dr. Jen Welter. Everyone knows her. Some named coaches. Mike Martz is there. And we got Pig Howard. Here, Piggy Piggy. Going to the Memphis Express. Kip Kip Hooray with old Pig Howard. Some of you folks who watch far more college football than I do may may recognize a lot of these guys. Oh, there's Troy Palomalo. I know him. Out of 25. 
Oh, he's just head of player relations. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll include that with the Charlie Ebersol spot, right? CEO founder. So all of these, all of those cards will kind of go together. Isn't that the, uh, is that the CEO of Apple, Tim Cook? Tim Apple? <laughs> I want winners. I want players that want to win. Can't do it. Can't win with them. Chris Nackenberg. Aaron Murray. I think Michael Vick may have pulled out of that coaching job or something. Something weird happened there. And there's Jennifer King. The Arizona Hotshots. It's an autograph for Colton. There you go, a defensive assistant for the Arizona Hotshots. There you go. It's your third autograph there. And then we got Raheem Moore to 99, also for the Hotshots. And there you go, box one in the books. <laughs> yeah, my Michael Vick probably could still, could probably... Put together, play a few series in, in the AAF for the old Atlanta Legends. All right. Next box. I do like the idea of the Sky Judge. That's in the AAF. In case you're wondering, folks, in the Eastern Conference, the Orlando Apollos are on top of that conference with a 6-1 and one record. The Birmingham Iron are 4-3. and three. Uh, Memphis Express, 2-5. and five. Atlanta Legends, 2-5. and five. That's not good. Orlando Apollos uh, has a plus 97 point differential. And at the bottom of the Eastern Conference, Atlanta Legends, minus 117. That's not good. Things are a little bit, seems to be a little bit tighter in the Western Conference, ladies and gentlemen, of the AAF. The San Antonio Commanders, 5-2. and two. Arizona Hotshots, 4-3. and three. San Diego Fleet, 3-4. and four. Salt Lake Stallions, 2-5. and five. San, Diego, San Antonio Commanders with a plus 21 point differential. Arizona Hotshots, who are in second place, have a plus 25 point differential. San Diego Fleet, plus two. Salt Lake Stallions, who are two and five, only with a minus 13 point differential. So some pretty competitive football happening in the Western Conference with the AAF. You heard it here first, folks. What's the, what's the schedule situation here? So week eight, Happens this weekend. Orlando at Memphis. San Diego at Salt Lake. Atlanta at Birmingham on Sunday. And Arizona at San Antonio. There's week 8, 9, and 10. There's 10 weeks. So there's three more weeks until the playoffs. You can see these games on uh, NFL Network, CBS Sports, Bleacher Report Live. Still breaking, Joe P. Yeah. Break all, all day. All day, every day. Until I get tired. Until it's time for me to stop breaking. Which is, happens around 11 o'clock Pacific. Or a day. That's right, Joe P. It's on tomorrow. Baseball is back. It's, uh, oh, it's on, it's on, uh, on ES. I think we were, an e we're an ESPN game, Joe P. All right, next box of AAF.
We got Kendall James to 99 for the San Antonio Fleet. San Diego Fleet. There's Sam Mobley, 8 out of 50 for the... It's got to be Salt Lake. That's a stallion, right? Yeah, Salt Lake Stallions. Joe P., how do you feel about your uh, your Arizona Hot Shots? Are you, are you like, go Hot Shots all the way? They're 4-3. and three. Second place in the uh, AAF Western Conference. And for the Birmingham Iron, you got Max Redfield. I don't think there's any relics in this, just autos. Rex. Oh, Joe P saying hot shots for life. He's just like hot shots till I hot shots till I die, he says. He's got he's got his he's got his little daughter dressed up in hot shots gear. <laughs> 99, there's Joel Lanning. That's, that's exactly what Joe P is saying in the chat right now. Hot shots forever. He's getting his getting his hot shots. Uh, getting his hot shots tats. He's got about four or five hot shots tats now. There's Terry Poole to 25, of the San Diego Fleet. Oop, wrong pile. Put in that pile right there. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. Is that Nick Novak? It is. He does. He doesn't have a. Doesn't have an NFL job. And for the Orlando Apollos, Dewan Smith. <laughs> Joe P says Arizona hot shots may, maybe maybe better than watching the Arizona Cardinals. All right, there you go. Orlando Apollos on the board. Brian Foley. With that one. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we find any low number parallels here to close this break out. Oh, and another one. Josh Stewart. For the San Antonio Commanders. That's for Brian Foley. Uh, Rex, Joe, would I be mad if who got a tat of your face? Of my face? All right, and there you go. Air? You're speaking riddles, Rex. You got you got to get out of the uh, the wax area of your shop. All right, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another two-box break of AAF in the store. Three autos per box. Who knows? You put this in a drawer, maybe one of these guys gets signed to an NFL team, blows up, you're going to be the first one right there. So go for it, folks. jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.